Yeah, so I'm Matt Bain. I'm the Smoky Valley Ranch Project Coordinator. I work for the, agent, the <coughs> work for the Nature Conservancy. I've been working for the Conservancy for about four years now. Um, and so uh, this property is part of the larger Smoky Valley Ranch. Um, with this property, the ranch is approximately 17,300 acres in size. We're at the very southeast corner of the ranch now. Um, the Conservancy's had Smoky Valley Ranch uh, since 2000, and um, you know the, the, this is just a, a really scenic addition to the property. It's something that um, the Conservancy was hoping to uh, to be a part of. You know when they purchased the rest of the property in 2000. So the this is uh, 332 acres. Um, about about 275 acres of that is rock formations, and that's really what makes this unique. It's a, it's the largest um, Niobrara chalk exposure in Kansas. Um, it's you know it's got really tall spires. Um, you know it, when we think about like um, Castle Rock and Monument Rocks, those are so unique, so interesting because they just jump out of the landscape. They're they're kind of this island in the middle of nothing. Uh, this is a lot more subtle when you approach it from the south. It just kind of looks like a pasture. Can't really see it uh, for, from very uh, long distance. But what's so unique about this is is that it's um, it's uh, it's a lot of those castle rocks. Rocks. It's a lot of the monument rocks. It's um, you know there's probably thousands of these of these really jagged um, uh, castles out here at this site. And you can as you walk through the canyons and go through the um, you know, go through all the little ravines on this place. I think you could probably walk through it for, you know, two or three days and not see it all. It's just, you know, so many miles of little, uh, little canyons and mazes. But it's kind of remained a really iconic place for Western Kansans. You know, a lot of, a lot of people, uh, locals in the area, uh, grew up coming here and, you know, just sort of climbing around and uh, gazing from those, you know, big hilltops and wonder. You know, it's just, it's hard to come to a place like this and not be inspired you know about about the prairie out here and it's it, we're really the Conservancy is super excited about the opportunity to to do that for people you know to to get people excited about the natural resources out here the the ecology of these of these uh, Niobrara chalk formations is also um, pretty unique because you have all the, the cavities in the rocks and so like the other evening we were out here and a number of bats flew out you know, and I just something you don't generally see in this part of the state but yeah, uh, so these were <clears throat> these were actually uh, the bottom of the sea floor about 85 million years ago, and so this area was part of, of a very large interior seaway that actually split North America in half. It was called the uh, Western Interior Seaway, and again, that was from about 65 million to 100 million years ago. Um, this particular site, most of these fossils at this site are about 85 million years old. Wow. And so what happens, you know, uh, all the sediments and all the marine life are deposited. This is a relatively shallow inland seaway. They've all been deposited, you know, while this was inundated with water. And so um, as that, <coughs> imagine this place relatively solid uh, limestone. And, and, you know, that limestone is just comprised of that organic material that's deposited. So it's, uh, it's oysters and all that marine life is what comprises the, uh, the limestone. There are a lot of fossils. I mean, it, if you walk around, just about everything you step on is actually a fossil. Um, all this material in here, you can see this little exposure. This is a, this is a giant clam. That's, you can see the little striations. Uh, but this, this clam would probably have been about three feet in diameter. And most of the clams um, are encrusted with oysters. So here you can see you can see a few oysters that are that are encrusted on that on that giant clam. Uh, but as you walk through this place, it's just you know the fossils are, are literally everywhere. There's not uh, there's not you know uh, a great diversity of, of some of the fossils. Um, we don't see very many sharks' teeth. I don't see as many mosasaur vertebrae. Uh, just I see a lot of giant clams and a lot of oysters and so this probably would have been you know more of an oyster bed this is another kind of unique plant this is four winged salt bush and uh, it's really only found in these uh, Niobrara outcrops 
there's really two different um, two different layers to these chalk formations. There's uh, Smoky Hill chalk and and uh, Fort Hayes limestone. This this plant is actually that Great Plains wild buckwheat. This might not be a bad shot for you. It's starting to green up. That's the. It's not very showy, um, mm -hmm. but like a lot of the prairie, you know, you kind of have to get out in it to to appreciate it. Yeah. So th these little mud nests are cliff swallows. Um, a lot of times you'll see them when you drive through bridges. Uh, you'll see all those little birds flying around around the bridge. Those are cliff swallows. This is kind of their natural, their native habitat, and. Uh, they will uh, come back and use these nests for years and years as long as they last. But you can see there's some really intricate construction and uh, pretty, pretty safe. You know, if you're hanging upside down off a cliff like that, there's not too many predators that are going to be able to get to you. Huh. And we're only, you know, a few feet off the ground. A lot of yeah. times they're up a lot higher. You know, over 80% of the prairie in western Kansas has been converted to some other use. And so, uh, you know, there's really only about 20% that remains as intact native prairie. You know, these places uh, are, are really unique and, and very much worth keeping as they are. And so, you know, the, of that 20% that's left, you know, that's primarily native rangeland that's grazed. And so the, cons the Conservancy uses um, cattle, really, as our most... Uh, Cattle grazing is really our fundamental strategy for, for managing these uh, these properties like this. So probably what we'll have is a parking area up top uh, with some information, some interpretive signage, and uh, you know so that people can come and, and understand what exactly they're looking at in terms of the geology, in terms of the paleontology, you know the fossils. Yeah. Um, but then also you know what the conservancy is doing out here in this landscape. You know why. Uh, why, is, why does the Conservancy have a property out here and, and what they're trying to do? So we'll have a lot of that information um, kind of at a parking area on the southeast end of the property. And then from there, we hope to have, uh, you know, eventually have some trails in place that, that folks can go and explore. Um, Are you going to have areas roped off or is it just like you think just free to it? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I, it, it's, um, it's such a large place. You know, we've got almost... Um, you know, close to 300 acres of rocks and outcrops, and so it's it's a little challenging because you can't just go to one spot and really appreciate the whole thing. You've kind of got to walk through and, and move through it to really appreciate the the size of it. And when we leave this spot, we'll go to one that you can get up high and you know see it a little bit better, have a little better perspective on the size of it. But um, you know that that's going to be the um, that's the challenge and also the opportunity to, to be able to, you know, get a, a designated trail, hopefully eventually, that will kind of wind through most of it. Um, these things are fairly fragile and uh, with too much foot traffic and too much climbing and that sort of thing, um, they will erode a lot quicker. It's pretty amazing how fast this material moves and, and how fast these things really change shape. So we'll, we'll just have to be, you know, cautious of that.